Hello, welcome back to part 11 of this video tutorial how to build the Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're going to start building our tool XNA Pac-Man the map builder. So let's do that. So go to the Solution Explorer and we're going to add a new project. And it's a window game again. And we call it XNA Pac-Man Map Builder. Right? So press OK. And now we have a new project here. And the first thing we're going to do is clean up the code a little. So, using. And now we're going to hide it. All right. The can constructor. Constructor. The initialize. Contents the unload contents. The updates and finally the draw. Graphics Device Manager. It's a private. And the sprite beds. Private variable. And the first thing I want to do is set the preferred buffer width and height. And we're going to do that in the constructor. So let's do that first. Create the new graphics device manager. And here we set the content root directory. Set the graphics preference width and height. All 
formats. And the way we do that is with the graphics preferred back buffer width. It's 768. And the graphics preferred back buffer height is 576. And now we need to apply the changes. So, and now we have set the preferred width and height for the graphics card. Alright, the next thing I want to show you is the Pac-Man dossier. And you can find the link in the video description. And Pac-Man dossier is from Jamie Pittman. And you find it on the internet. And it has a lot of information in it about the Pac-Man game. So if you like it, you can read it. It's very useful if you like to build a Pac-Man game like this. And the picture where we are in interested is this picture. And we're going to try to rebuild this picture in our tool. And we're going to use this one as an example. So go to the Pac-Man dossier and read it. So you get all the information you need. Right? And another thing I want to show you is you need to download the lines to DCS. The link is in the video description. And when you've downloaded it and it's on your computer, you can add it to the project by clicking it on the folder here. And you're going to add an XX, an X system item. And then you can browse to the file. And my file is already on the computer. So I can go to the projects. And it's just here. Lines 2D. And when we open it, it's, it's a very easy file. It's draw a line on the screen. And it has only one function but it has a lot of overloads and what happened here is it's, it just creates a pixel in a texture and from that pixel it creates a line and that's all there is and the reason that we not go over this is that it's going out of the scope of this tutorial so download it, add it to your project and one thing you need to watch it is that the namespace maps the namespace as what you have called the project. So we call it XNA Pac-Man Map Builder. So the namespace must be the same here. Alright. So with that file out of the way, we can now start building. And the first thing I want to create is a util class. And Let's go do that. Go to projects, add class, and we call it utils.cs. And the first thing we're going to do is copy the using block from the object class. And we're going to add another using statement using Microsoft dot xna framework dot input for keyboard and joystick alright and now we're going to build a function it's called check keyboard so let's do that public static it's return a boolean check keyboard And it gets a keyboard state, the current, and a keyboard state previous, and a keys key. Right? And now we can say that if the 
currents is key down key and the previous is key up then we return a true otherwise we return a false all right so check if a specified key is pressed on the keyboards the current keyboard states the previous keyboard states the key to check and it returns a true if pressed and false if not right check keyboards okay that's a function in the YouTube class so I'm gonna finish the tutorial here and in the next tutorial we're gonna use this function and the lines to D when we build the grid so I hope you enjoy and I see you in the next tutorial. Bye.